Hey there, this is Vikram. In this video, I will be talking about webhooks and how webhook works. For better understanding, I would recommend to check the link in the description where I have written a detailed tutorial about webhooks and how you can set up one with the help of few code snippets. Let's begin with what are webhooks. So if we split the term webhook in two, that is web and hook, Web refers to anything on the internet and hook is uh, somewhat you can say a reaction to a particular event. For example, uh, the reaction can uh, the event can be anything that can be uh, the like on the Facebook or, or the upward on the stack overflow. So uh, you can say uh, any event or uh, whenever a user is notified for a particular event that is web. If we look technically, you can see uh, it is just a simple data which will be posted on a particular URL via post request. Nowadays, uh, almost all uh, providers, uh, all application provides webhook so that you are always updated with the real time data. So that uh, with the real time data, you can manage or you can perform few action on that particular data. Few examples as GitHub, Stripe, Plex, Slack, uh, and few more are there. So in order uh, we can take an example. Uh, so GitHub ha uh, is extensively used among developers. So whenever a particular action is uh, carried on a repo, for example, an issue is raised on a repo or uh, someone has created a pull request on a repo, then that user is immediately notified. Similarly, uh, with the Slack and Facebook. Peppy Post also provides a wide range of webhook where uh, it uh, posts data on the URL whenever an event is occurred on your email that can be a sent, that can be an open, that can be a click and many more. So how you can set up a webhook? The first point is telnet the domain and the port which you will be sharing with your provider so that uh, to check that it is publicly accessible or not. Second point is uh, if you are writing your webhook in PHP or Python, I have few two or three line of code so that you can just simply copy paste this uh, and uh, save in your web server path. If you have Python, I have used a web package where uh, you can use any port by default it takes 8080 I have used your 65 65 65 65 so uh, once you run this Python code uh, you can just hit this uh, curl call from the another tab and you can uh, get the result has hello world in a JSON format so what kind of data you will be receiving when uh, you share your URL with uh, the web provider Usually uh, about 80 to 90% of uh, webhook providers send or post their data in JSON format and few post in XML or uh, in a form data you can say there are very few you won't get those uh, almost all post in a JSON format only. So how you can test a webhook uh, URL. So there are two famous uh, webhook URL tester or HTTP request event logger you can say a uh, webhook site uh, this this webhook site uh, you can uh, usually generate a dynamic URL that is unique so whenever you hit that URL from a terminal you will get a uh, data over here this part will be a data part where you will be getting and similarly whenever when you hit a URL in a request bin you will be getting a data part over here so whenever you are posting a data, it can be through your postman or uh, HTTP requester or pop. The best part is you, you use curl. You can use always use this part. So security is always a concern in uh, has, uh, your URL is publicly accessible. So always use a TLS connection. Second point is use an odd token. And third part is basic authentication for uh, any API development. So concluding this, uh, I hope you have understood webhook and uh, how what webhook mechanism is. If you are still confused, you can always uh, check the link in the description and uh, share your thoughts on this. See you soon.